Hi guys, Ryan here and welcome to another testing video. Today we are out here with Kian, a junior rider uh, from the UK slash Switzerland on his Colnago TT1. And we're just in the process of setting up his position. The first couple of runs we have tested uh, various helmets for him. We're just the top performers really that because he's an, basically an elite level rider. So I took out the ones that usually perform well in these conditions. So he already has the Cask Mistral. We also have the Med Drone, the S-Works TT5 and the Sweet Protection Redeemer. We have run through these. So far it seems that the Med Drone is performing best, which, well, is probably the reason. The reason behind that probably is the fact that it's quite a head position still. It definitely needs a bit of work on that. As the CDA that we have right now is not excellent, not terrible. Uh, it's kind of what you expect when you get on a bike first without any adjustments. So it's in the ballpark. I'm confident that we can shave off a good couple of grams uh, of drag from that. So yeah, first we check the helmets. Uh, he also has two various visor options for the cast. So right now He's doing a run uh, in the plane visor without the aero flaps, which I suspect could be better for his type of head position, but we'll see. We also obviously have Haribo's as an essential part of the aero testing routine. Uh, yeah, so we'll do these, have a quick summary and quick, quick chat about the results. We'll analyze the drone footage and then we'll uh, go on further to make some changes to the position itself. Okay guys, so now we are after our 16 runs of air testing over more than five hours and we have some good results. We managed to get down uh, to the point where I was kind of expecting it to be with Kian. So we tried, after the helmets, we tried different uh, reach options because I felt that he's uh, quite cramped on the bike so we've actually extended the reach by 40 millimeters in the end as we that was a good direction so we went that way uh, then i also increased the stack in 10 mil increments up to the point where we found a bit of a speed spot where it was still very aero with a very very minor penalty but also uh you know having a higher stack also uh, always helps you with putting the power down so we kind of found that breakaway point we also tweaked uh, the position of the poles, position of the armors themselves and find, uh, found the best solution for that. And then at the end, we also back tested uh, his previous helmet. But my hypothesis on this was also uh, confirmed as, you know, the cask Mistral is a track helmet predominantly and it works best when your head is really, really low and the med drone which we stuck uh, to at the end was uh, quite a bit faster because it's much less sensitive to changes in head position and having the uh, head further up is not a problem for it so that's my recommendation for Kian to uh, stick to that helmet for a while and yeah the position is more or less dialed as it is right now the rest of the bike setup as you saw in the in the b-roll shots is is pretty awesome so the biggest focus and his homework perhaps uh, from this day is to uh, really keep uh, drilling the head position to make sure he can keep it for lower and make sure that even if he picks up he doesn't raise the head all the way up and um, yeah that will be the next step in his improvement so uh, good luck to him in the upcoming races and we'll see each other in the next uh, next uh, error testing video and of course if you want to have your own setup tested and optimized then you can reach us through the links in the description below thanks for watching and see you next time